Hey, Tom here, Flip Anything USA. So it is, uh, it is uh, New Year's Eve day, and uh, last day of 2023. Uh, I'm checking on some of my properties. I've had a little bit of theft uh, at one of my remodels. A minor, I violated my own rule of not keeping a dumpster in the driveway. Let it stay a little too long. It's kind of an invitation to thieves. Let's them know that your property is not occupied and may have tools in it and uh, fortunately I didn't have many tools but I did lose a miter box and a heater and uh, not a big deal this year I gotta tell you 2023 I've had right around two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in theft uh, in the form of a tractor stolen I had copper uh, fifty five thousand dollars in copper roughly stolen off of one of my buildings uh, they chopped up you know they went up turn the power off cut the uh, conduits and pulled the the copper out of the pipes and presumably sold it for scrap and uh, anyways uh, and then uh, a bobcat a skid steer I had stolen off of property uh, and then 105,000 in fraudulent checks uh, where one of them took a one of my kids got the teeth cleaned I paid their paid for that bill and uh, somebody got a hold of the dentist mail and washed it washed the check and rewrote it for five grand somebody created a completely fraudulent check off one of my accounts and wrote a check for ninety nine thousand, and they somehow got it cashed uh, and it was a completely fraudulent check uh, I had nothing to do with me um, but you know what that's a day kind of the world we live in right now and I'll tell you what you know as bad, as screwed up as our country is right now you know we got three or three or four hundred thousand people a, uh, a month coming over the border from you know 30 different countries and uh, and we're not getting the best brightest or the most honest out of a lot of these countries and uh, so it's you know crime is you know expected to go up uh, and uh, you know we have jobs jobs declining in the country and then we got a bunch more people needing jobs that you know don't even speak the language so you know a lot of times theft is the only place to turn uh, and that's what I would expect to happen but you know what the best hedge against uh, a uh, screwed up, uh, you know, government or situation uh, is make some money. You know, you, you can bitch about how your tax dollars are spent, but and, you know, but uh, at least you're not looking for a handout, and that's really, uh, you know, I think the best you can expect. But uh, so the house, I, the thumbnail that you saw, just wrapped up. We just kind of really that'll by day after tomorrow. You know, the, the maids will be in there mopping the floors. Got a little bit of grout touch up on some tile, but that thing's done. New countertops, new counters, uh, new coat of paint inside and out. Uh, and, uh, you know, I put, expect to make between 60 on a low, 80 on a high on that property. Uh, it, it, for a remodel, it was not terrible at all. I, I say a remodel, it, it, you know, there was, there's some work, but, uh, you know, maybe 35,000 bucks worth of stuff. And, you know, paint, paint's expensive these days. But, you know, that's, that's an, you know, that's 60, 80 grand, you know, in 30 days. You know, it's not a big deal. And uh, the, the other house I have uh, is, uh, and I got another piece of land sold too. I just got another piece of land, about 2.5 million. Uh, we signed the papers on that last night. So that's in escrow. Uh, and even these two that I'm selling right now, uh, I wanted them to close in 2024 just because the taxes gives you another year uh, to, before you have to pay on the taxes. It, it, you know, I don't think I'm going to roll those from a 1031. It might happen. I don't know. But whether it does or doesn't, uh, at least I got a year to play with the money. Uh, you know, just because just because the fiscal tax year as it falls. But uh, anyways, those of you that are thinking about getting in. Hey, Barry, good to see you. Uh, I'll be parked here in a second, everyone. Um, you know, there is, uh, uh, I, this is, you know, the prices are going up on the mentorship, but just by, just by filing for the, uh, taking the mentorship survey, uh, or, or, you know, uh, you know go to flipanythingusa.com slash mentoring hyphen survey, or, or just go to flipanythingusa.com and you'll see at the top of the page where to click fill that form out and you can lock in your 2023 pricing, uh, whether you sign up today or, or you know, in a day or two. Uh, I'm extending that. But, um, you know, there's a lot of people making money. 
in real estate. Good times or bad. You know, I've been doing this 42 years. I've made a deal every year. You know, I use multiple deals. But, you know, the, on average, maybe five deals a year for 42 years. It's only roughly 210, 220 uh, deals, uh, you know, purchases, uh, uh, you know, in, in, uh, <clears throat> hey Shane, good morning. Uh, you know, over, over 42 years, you know, it's, that's a lot of stuff. You know, yeah, I know you get, you hear wholesalers, yeah, I've done 500 deals and that's a bunch of bullshit. They haven't, uh, you know, uh, it's just, you know, unfortunately, uh, the criteria that they use for saying they've done a deal is not a very high standard, but, uh, Anyways, and I'm, got, I'm driving by one of my buildings. This is actually, I don't know if I can show you this. This is one of my favorite buildings, too. This is Because I'm coming off the freeway, and I'll show you this property just because I can. Uh, it's nice and empty. The tenants won't mind. Uh, when I say empty, it's just empty because... Uh, here, look here. So, look, this is a beautiful building. And look at that. There's a freeway right there, man. That's the money. See that? And not only that, everybody that comes off this freeway comes around this corner, turns in, looks straight at this property. Everybody that comes out of these neighborhoods, and there's thousands and thousands of people that live back there, they drive by here to get on the freeway to go to work, and they drive by this building. So this is a unique property in as much it's, it's both on the going home side of the road and the going to work side of the road. It actually kind of is both. You can still see it in the back there. There's a, a playscape. This used to be a uh, school. It'd been a couple of different schools. It was a, uh, uh, it was a, and look at right across from a retail center. I don't own that one. Maybe someday I will. But, uh, but these are the kind of assets you want to own. You know, these things just, just make money uh, and they stay occupied. They stay full. Uh, you know, being well located near a freeway. Uh, and neighborhoods, you know, they, they serve a purpose because, uh, you know, they just, they, they, they serve the community. And, uh, uh, and they're relatively trouble-free, to be honest, you know. I, I, you know, I, I was doing a video earlier on uh, ring cameras. You know, I've got probably 20 of them. And I have a dashboard that pops up. In fact, I have a ring camera going off right now telling me somebody's actually at the location that I'm heading to right now. So I'll see who it is in a minute. Um, but the, the ring devices do deter theft. And uh, even on the, uh, uh, you know, these little properties that I'm, uh, you know, rehabbing and, you know, lightly or heavily, uh, I put the ring camera so if somebody walks up that doesn't belong there, they know they're being recorded. The thing talks to them, tells them, says, hey, you are being recorded. And they are. And also, even if you don't have Wi-Fi where you put those, uh, all you need is two cell phones. You can make one your hotspot, and then the can that you can you know put your your phone and the uh, the Ring device into the same hub, and then you can program the, the the camera to do those things that I was talking about. You know, saying you know you know this is a property here. I'll tell you, I'm glad I sold it, but it was a nice one. That's a it's a restaurant. Bought and sold that. Bought and sold the lot next to it. Bought and sold the house next to that. Bought and sold that house. Made about four hundred grand on it. Bought and sold this house. Made about five hundred thousand on that one. And uh, uh, you know, I own a lot of property around here. In fact, I'll take a drive by this one just because I should. And this is what I do. I keep an eye on my assets. By the way, this is a twenty thousand square foot building. You know, and and again, you know. These, these buildings serve a purpose. I mean, aside making a lot of money, you know, but, you know, there's businesses in these buildings that, that uh, uh, you know, employ a lot of people and, uh, you know, you keep the grounds clean. This may look a little rough to some of you, but listen, this is a what we call a flex building. I actually own the building next door to. This is a school. You know, between the two of these, you know, uh, like I say, I could buy a, I could buy a new Ferrari every, every year just from the income from these two buildings alone. Uh, and then I also, even I own across the street, you'll see a big building across the street. I own that one too. And, uh, you know, this is just a cool little school. I bought this building and the other at the same time and, uh, gorgeous property. Look at that. And then actually I, I own this building here. I sold it, but I, I built that building that you see right there too. I built that building behind a lot 
but I built that building also back in 2000. And but look how look at this property. I, between this property and the one next door, I've got 3.58 acres. Look at that. It's huge. It goes way back there. But I mean, and and the, the, the they keep increasing the density uh, on these properties out here, and uh, and it it just all spells bigger money. I mean, to be honest, someday. Maybe while I'm alive or not, I don't know. Maybe, you know, I'll put it in the will for my kids to give them some specific instructions. Um, but, you know, what I would expect here is probably, it could be 10 story building. And, uh, you know, big parking garage. And, uh, and then here, might as well go over here. But I just want you to see, cause this is the last day you can get the mentorship as cheap as you can get it right now for 2023. Look at this building. That's 16,000 square feet. Okay. Uh, again, I make enough money on this. I can buy a new Ferrari or Porsche every year from the income on this thing. And, uh, you know, you, you, you got to get started. If you don't get started, you know, you know, just so many people, just think about how many people, you know, or even yourself that you got a house, and now your house, you know, went from being worth a hundred grand to whatever, half a million or a million dollars. And you just think, God, I wish I'd have bought two. If you'd have bought two at that time, you'd have your home nearly paid for or paid for. And you'd have another piece of property that's completely paid for that, you know, maybe it's a difference of being able to sell it and retiring just because of that, you know? So, but like I say, that's, I mean, just those two buildings alone, man, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of money. It's a lot. I'm not even going to tell you how much it's worth, but it's worth a lot. And, uh, uh, you know, and, and, but I want you to realize how close things are. These are the kinds of things. That's why I tell everybody, uh, you know, everything is nearby. You don't have to go to another state. You know, a lot of people that don't know anything about real estate uh, will encourage people to buy out of state. Oh, they'll say, oh, the entry point is so much cheaper. It doesn't matter. It's relative. You know, when people say, I, everything's around me is 500000 Tom, I can't afford it. No, you're not going to pay 500000 for it. You're going to pay, you're going to pay, you know, uh, you're going to pay two or 300000 for it. And that's how you're going to make your money. You know, this is a property here. I bought that for one hundred and twenty nine. I sold it for 630000 uh, I, I still own the house across the street. I bought one down here for 130000 I sold it for... 420. Uh, this is a new home here, but I used to own the land. I actually own the building. I, I bought and sold the place for about 130,000. I sold it for 430. This one I bought for 129,000. I sold it for 600. I think I sold it for 650, but either way, you know, I made a half a million dollars just on that one house. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's no joke and it's very real. And, uh, you know, if you're out there and you've got money saved, especially you got money saved to buy a property, uh, but you don't want to make a mistake, you're a perfect candidate for my mentorship because, A, you're going to buy something. And if you follow my fundamentals and, and, and learn from me and, and just apply the things that I'll teach you, you'll, you'll, you'll make the cost of the mentorship back 10 times on your first purchase. That's, that's easy. That's easy. And if you take time, go to flipanythingusa.com. Take a look at my students. I have students that have become millionaires in just a few short years that I've been teaching. And I don't think there's anybody out there that can boast that kind of record. And uh, in fact, I know there's not. Uh, otherwise, they would be out there. So, uh, in fact, you know who I'll tell you I frustrate the most? is the salesman for the fake gurus. They absolutely hate me because I tell everybody, scrutinize hard, investigate who you're going to pay. You know, if you're going to pay somebody to teach you or mentor you, then you should investigate them. Go to the Better Business Bureau. Go, go, you know, check them out. Make sure they're not a thief. Make sure they're not a crook. Make sure they have a history of buying and selling. Make sure they can show you, you know, tens of millions of, of dollars in assets that they own, that they bought from real estate sales you know that's the key you know it's one thing to simply take money from people and buy real estate you know you know you mislead people or however you you got it but i started from buying one deal and turning it and buying another and then buying another and then buying another and that's the kind of organic 
court with you want uh, as an investor is you want to make money with the money that you've created. And I got to say hi to my girlfriend here real quick. Hey. Yeah, I'm, I'm live right now. But uh, anyways, babe, go ahead. Saw you on the ring. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Um, anyways, look, uh, you want to... Uh, I got a lot of tire kickers, people that have been wanting to get involved and say, oh, yeah, I'm so busy. I got the money I want to get in, but I'm too busy. Listen, everybody in my class is busy. Everybody is an entrepreneur. Everybody is a go-getter. The, the busy excuse, I don't buy it. Listen, I'm very busy, and I keep myself busier all the time. Every time I buy something, it's now I'm that much more busier, you know, especially if it involves a remodel. But... Uh, so uh, that's it, but no pressure ever. I would never encourage anybody to, to take my mentorship that, that had to borrow money. If you had to borrow money to, to get in the class or to get the mentoring, I would say don't do it. I would 100% say don't do it. You know, the, the, the fakes out there, they'll tell you, oh, yeah, it's worth borrowing money. Yeah, even if you don't have any property, go borrow the money from somebody else to get in my class. They'll tell you that, and that's bullshit. You've got to have a little bit of working capital. So don't believe that stuff. You know, if you if you are struggling to save money, then you need to work on getting a skill, a regular job skill, okay? I don't care if you're a good bartender, a good waitress, you know, get a skill down and show a discipline. Have a discipline to save money, have a discipline to not, you know, eat out all the time or whatever, your, wherever your money goes. You know, look, I, 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 I started making money so early in my life at 19, but I was frugal in those early years, in, in, all through my 20s too. And, but that's why, you know, in, in a few short years in the 80s, you know, I made a million dollars and, uh, you know, it, it, but, but I, you know, I worked hard, I worked hard and I, and I had a discipline to save and everything I bought, I bought was going to be something that would make more money. And uh, if you just keep that attitude, that you only buy things that are worth more than you're paying for them. And I don't care if it's a car. I don't care if it's a tool. You know, there's I've made I've gone to military auctions. I've bought tape decks that you know for two or three hundred bucks and sold them for two or three thousand dollars. There's money all around you that you can do. But ultimately, the sweet spot in really getting wealthy is real estate. And and that's why you know I tell people, uh, you know. That's why I'm just so emphatic about it and, and so uh, driven, you know, to share. And uh, look, I, again, uh, I don't care about your money. I care about your success. And uh, you come to me and, and listen, today is Sunday. Sunday is when I sign up more people than ever. So if you haven't done it yet, go fill out the mentoring survey right now. I'll call you today. I'll text you. We can have a phone call today. The, the, however many people are watching right now. Listen, if you're not already in my class, take the mentorship survey. You'll get a text from me in a little while. We can have a phone call and we can talk a little bit and uh, no guarantee you're going to be in the class, but there's nothing to lose from, you know, finding out what can be done, what you can do. But one of the easiest things to do is go to flipanythingusa.com and see my students, take my webinar, see the tens of millions of dollars of real estate that I bought, uh, that I continue to own. You know, I've, maybe it's a hundred million, but it, it's, it's, that it's properties that I bought and turned and made millions on to continue to, to you know, to grow what I have to, 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 for the rental empire that I, that I have, that I just showed you some of. These are the kinds of things you need to see, the proof, you know, you need to see the proof. So anyways, hey, thanks for watching. Everybody, happy new year. I'll probably go live a little later here today, but uh, really anxious to talk to uh, people. I'm about to return calls right now. So if you want to have a call, if you're serious about uh, wanting to do the right thing with your money, let's have a phone call. Never any pressure from me. You know, people know I push people away, you know, and make them think before they spend. So uh, we'll, we'll talk to you later. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See you later.